Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 28th Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can serve up static files and talk a little bit about middleware. Alright then, so before we talk about middleware, I just want to do a quick experiment and um, I'm here in the index.ejs file. This is the template file we created a couple of tutorials back, which is right here. And uh, you'll see what I've done is I've taken all of the styles out of the head and place them in an external style sheet, which is in the assets folder right here called styles.css because this is typically the way we do it. We don't normally put styles in the head for a full website. So I've gone ahead and linked that up. It's in the forward slash assets folder, forward slash styles.css. So it's pointing to this file right here. And uh, you can see these are all the styles in that file. So this should still work the same, right? Let's test it out. Node one app.js and just running the application here with nodebon and then once that's done let's refresh over here the home page and you'll see we're not getting those styles through it's all looking like junk here and you'll notice on the network tab that i've got open this styles.css is getting a 404 error now why is that well it's because at the end of the day this is making a request to the server and our application running on node.js is not responding to this request this is just a request like any other request, like when we visit a specific URL here. We're still requesting something, but whereas we're dealing with these different URLs in the app.js file right here, we're not dealing with this kind of request for a static file. Now, I suppose what I could do is go ahead and create a lot of different um, handlers up for these requests for images and style sheets, etc. but that would quickly get out of hand. So what I need is a simple way to serve up these static files and deal with those static file requests, okay? So fortunately we can use something called middleware uh, and we can use some express inbuilt middleware to do this for us. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about what middleware is. And um, middleware is essentially the code that runs between the request and the response. And we've already been kind of using it. So if we take a look at the code here, you can see right here, someone's going to make a request for forward slash or forward slash contact. That's the request. And then this is going to be with the response right here. Now, this function right here can run any other code. You know, we can console.log something. We could do something with some data, whatever. All this code right here between the request and the response being sent, that is middleware. It's code that's in the middle, if you like. Okay. So what we're going to do is use some custom middleware or some middleware that comes baked with Express to serve up those static files like style sheets or images so that we don't have to go through and write all of our own routes, if you like, for these different um, uh, static files, okay? So just a quick example of how we can use some middleware. We'd say app.use to use some middleware and then we can match it to a route if we want, or if we don't put a route in, then it's gonna use this middleware on every request that is made, either in the browser or within the document like this, okay? So we can attach it to a certain route if we want, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna say forward slash assets, okay? So whenever someone visits forward slash assets or forward slash assets forward slash something else, whenever that, appears at the start of the URL after localhost port 3000, then this middleware is gonna fire, right? And like I say, middleware is just code, so we pass through a function here and we can fire some code and this is the middleware. Now again, we can take the request object, the response object, and also a third parameter called next. And we used this next parameter to say, look, we've finished our middleware, now go on to the next set of middleware, okay? If we have multiple uh, middleware that matches a certain route. For example, if we had something like this, this middleware or this kind of route here is gonna match pretty much any URL that a user writes into an address bar when they, vi uh, when they visit our application, okay? Because it's just forward slash. So it could be forward slash home, forward slash contact, forward slash whatever. And it's always gonna fire this middleware because that's always there. So, when we've run this middleware, we need a way to tell Node.js to go to the next middleware, which is going to be in here, or the next request, the next get method there, okay? 
So what we need to do is at the end of this middleware, just say next like that. That's all we need to do. Okay. If we don't put that there, then potentially this is going to break and the application won't run. Okay, so now we can write our middleware. So what I'm gonna do is just console.log the request URL, okay? So I'll change this back to assets again, like so. And if I save this now and run this in a browser, what I'm gonna do is just go to forward slash assets. And then you're gonna see down here that the URL is just forward slash and it's taking the URL after forward slash assets, okay? So if I do forward slash assets uh, style.css, styles.css, then you can see this is the route that we're going to. However, if I go to forward slash contact, then it's not gonna display anything down here. It's not logging anything to the console because we've not matched the route on this middleware. Make sense? Okay, cool. So we could serve up our static files in this function if we wanted to, but fortunately, um, Express comes with some middleware already installed into it, which we can use to serve up these static files. And that's called express.static. And then in here, what we wanna do is map this static or this uh, route to a folder where the static files are stored. So they're stored in a folder called assets at the minute, uh, at the minute. so let's, say assets like so and we can save this and now any request that's made to forward slash assets forward slash something else is going to map to this folder and it's going to serve up whatever we request so now if i go to forward slash assets forward slash styles.css now we get the style sheet right there it's working okay and therefore if we go to the home page we get the styles back. It's blue and it's white text because now this is being handled by Node up here, okay? It's no longer a 404 error because we're handling it using this middleware right here. And notice we don't need to use the, the next method or anything like that here because this function right here, remember middleware is just a function with some coding. This is taking care of all of that for us. This is a function built in to express, to serve up static files. And this folder right here, we'd normally call that public. But since we already have a public folder in our files, which we're gonna use shortly when we create our to-do app, um, I've named it assets, but this can be named whatever you want. We could rename this to stuff. And then if we change this to stuff and save it, then still, whenever we go to this route, forward slash assets, forward slash styles.css, it's still gonna map to this stuff folder, okay? Makes sense? So this is matching the route, and then this is linking up the directory to where it's stored. Make sense? Okay, cool. So that is how we serve up static files, and um, we're gonna be using this as we go forward as well when we create our to-do application. So until then, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise guys, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.